Hello and welcome to day 10 of 40 days with the Holy Spirit and this week we are looking at the theme of prayer. Now today the Bible reading is from Acts chapter 10 verses 9 to 10 and 19 to 20. So I'm going to start by reading that. About noon the next day, as they were on their journey and approaching the city, Peter went up on the roof to pray. He became hungry and wanted something to eat. And while it was being prepared, he fell into a trance. While Peter was still thinking about the vision, the spirit said to him, look, three men are searching for you. Now get up, go down and go with them without hesitation, for I have sent them. Now, Peter's vision had shown him unclean food, those forbidden under Jewish law, but food that was eaten by Gentiles. The vision was preparing him for the next stage of his ministry, to preach the good news of Jesus further afield and spread the gospel to Gentiles, non-Jews. A vision that would spark a huge change in the early church and lay the foundation of Christianity around the world. And where does this change begin? On a regular roof in Jerusalem, while a hungry Peter takes a pre-lunch nap. But why does this change happen? Because Peter stopped and prayed. As Jack Leverson writes, big changes begin with small disciplines. This is as true for us now as it was in the early church. We need to make time to devote to our prayer lives. Now, I'll be the first to admit that this is not easy, to find this rule of life when we're all so busy. Life always gets in the way. Now, one of the blessings of lockdown is that we've all had more time at home more time with our families, more time with our thoughts, and in theory, more time to devote to our prayer lives. Jack Levinson, the writer of 40 Days with the Holy Spirit, says that prayer should follow a pattern of three things to connect with the Holy Spirit. Discipline, the act of prayer, deliberation, puzzling over your prayers or visions, and direction, where you follow the word of the Spirit. So that's easy, three Ds. Discipline, deliberation, and direction. In the reading, Peter prays, then he sleeps and dreams, and puzzles over the vision, reflecting on what it has to tell him, before going out to follow where the Spirit was leading him. And where is the Spirit leading us? This has been a time of great change for the church. Suddenly we are forced to do things online instead of going into the church buildings that are so familiar. Not having the same church services that we're used to. Watching them streamed live on a Sunday morning. Can we continue with a pioneering heart and follow the Spirit into new ways of spreading the Gospel. I've been truly humbled by how many of you tune in to watch these blogs. Yes, I do have all the statistics for how many of you watch them. And yes, I do know how long you watch them for and how many of you switch off halfway through and how many of you watch the live streams on a Sunday. But no, I can't think about those statistics right now while I'm recording, otherwise I would be a nervous wreck. <laughs> but it amazes me that you come back, day after day, week after week. You follow the spirit to try new things, to learn new skills. The Spirit challenges us all to step out of our comfort zone and make changes, 
just as Peter did. Pray, contemplate, follow the Spirit. So I'll finish today with the prayer from 40 Days with the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, I depend upon you for inspiration. The wind at my back, the breath in my lungs, the spirit in my heart. Guide me now to pray even without inspiration, to learn even without exhilaration, to puzzle even without enthusiasm, so that I am ready for your future, prepared to listen when you speak, primed to puzzle over experiences I can't understand, poised to leave when you tell me to go. Amen. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day and I will see you soon. Bye.